Hi Internet, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install a Tabi terminal emulator in Ubuntu desktop. Let's dive in. So first, you have to go to tabi.sh website and just click on download. And it will redirect you to github.com where we will uh, download the package. So let's just scroll down and we will select the correct package for us. And in our case, I'm gonna select the linux-x64.deb. Click on that one. And let's wait to finish the download. So now it's completed. Let's go to the folder, download folder. And I'm gonna show you two, way, uh, two method on how you can install a package. So first just, uh, first matter is just right click the file and then choose open with other application and then select the software install. Let's wait for a few seconds. When you see this, just hit install, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm, I, I prefer using the second method, which is the D package. So let's close this one. And let's close this and go to the terminal. So I'm already in the download pad. Uh, so if you do the list, the file that we just downloaded is there. So let's use the second method, which is the D package minus I, which is install and then the file name. It's preparing to install the Tabi application. Now it's complete. So let's go to the, let's search for the Tabi. Click on that. So in this application, you can actually configure, let's check the, uh, the settings here, the uh, a vault. Um, let's do that. So let's configure the vault. Now let's encrypt the config file, ask you the password. Now, if you want to configure an SSH session, um, just go to the profile and then Click on new profile and then, hold on. Um, let's first create a group. Let's name it as Bellray's Toolkit Group. Okay. It will ask you the vault. It's very secure. Now let's create a profile. So let's uh, just select the second one, which is the SSH connection. And it will ask the vault again. So let's, I'm going to name this session as SRV1 that will raise the toolkit. And then for now, I'm going to use the IP address of that server, which is the 83. And then the username, it's not root, but will raise toolkit. And you can set a password. Enter the password, press OK, then the vault, now save. So now the, uh, oh, we forgot to um, add the SSH session to our group. So let's modify it again. So group name, so Belarus Toolkit, and then save. Now it's under Belarus Toolkit group. Now let's access the server let's just hit play it will ask you the master password then accept another password now we're in we're in that server that's all for now thank you guys